Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to use place value blocks to represent whole numbers, and specifically, two-digit whole numbers. Now, place value blocks help us better understand numbers and place value by giving us a visual, so something we can see. And we're going to go through four examples together here in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have some blocks off to the left. Now we have a little chart or table here, and this is going to be our place value chart, where we are going to show exactly what those blocks represent. And then lastly, where it says number, we're going to write the number in standard form. Now standard form is just a fancy way of saying, write the number how you normally write numbers. So as far as the blocks go, we're going to start with the individual blocks right here. Now in this video, each individual block represents one whole. So how many blocks do we have there? Well, we have one, two, three, and four. So we are going to put a four in the ones place because we have four of those individual single blocks there. So four in the ones place. Now let's look at these stacks right here. Now those stacks of blocks represent groups of 10 because each of those stacks has 10 blocks. So we can just count the stacks. We don't need to count each individual block because we know they're grouped into groups of 10. So we have one, two, three groups of 10, which is 30. So let's put a three in the tens place to represent that. That three has a value of 30, three groups of 10. So standard form, we have 34. And to recap here, this four represents four ones, four individual blocks. The three represents three groups of 10, which has a value of 30. And that gives us the number 34. On to number two, let's count our ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones there. So let's put a nine in the ones place to represent that. As far as tens go, we have one stack of 10, which has a value of 10. So let's put a one in the tens place to represent that one group of tens, which has a value of 10. Standard form, we have 19. Nine representing nine ones, and then one representing one group of 10, which has a value of 10. Number three, we'll start with the ones, but we don't have any ones, which is okay, that happens. So we represent that by putting a zero in the ones place. Now, let's see how many tens we have. One, two, three, four, five, six groups of 10, which has a value of 60. So we will put a six in the tens place to represent that. So our number in standard form is going to be 60. So we will see there how important that zero is in the ones place, because without it, let's look up here above our place value table, we would just have a six. That's a lot different than 60. We needed that zero in order to represent zero ones, and then the six in the tens place, which represents 60. So don't just put six for that one, make sure we have zero in the ones place. Lastly, number four, let's count our ones. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we actually have a group of 10 there. So we can group that. It was not put into a stack for us, but that's okay. We can make our own group of 10. So we actually have one group of 10 there. Let's see how many ones we have left over, or maybe we can make more groups of 10. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So we have six ones there. So we did not have enough to make another group of 10. So what we can do, we can put a six in the ones place 
to represent these six blocks here, and then our group of 10 right here, we can put a one in the tens place because we were able to make one group of 10, which has a value of 10. Our standard form would be 16. Six representing six ones, which has a value of six, and then one representing one group of 10, which has a value of 10. So there you have it. There's how you use place value blocks to represent two digit numbers. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.